Inogen pioneers approaches that connect people, policy and practice to innovative solutions for real-world problems. We research in areas like emerging technologies, such as cell therapies and synthetic biology. We research innovation systems, private ones certainly, but also public and most important public-private partnerships. And we research food and energy systems like biofuels. We want to know how we develop drugs for neglected diseases and new crops that can feed more people. We want to know if these new technologies deliver what they promise, and if so, if they can be delivered faster, cheaper, and more safely. Inogen's unique interdisciplinary approach brings together an understanding of how innovative value chains are developed and smarter, more adaptive regulatory processes are shaped, along with more effective engagement of the stakeholders that are affected by the new technologies. The bioeconomy is about delivering economic growth, but it's also about delivering on some of the social benefits like better health, prosperity, and the environment and food security. Life science innovation depends on new ideas and discoveries, but the science and technology alone are not enough. Regulation, intellectual property, public perception are among the factors that can radically alter which products and services make it to market. At Inogen, we understand that innovation is a scientific as well as a social phenomenon. We analyze the scientific determinants of innovation's success so that the benefits of innovation can reach society in a timely manner. Emerging technologies are largely based on promises about an unknown future. The nature of the technology is often contested and the outcomes of the technology are often uncertain. This leads to questions about how to govern the future. With emerging technologies, there's a danger they could be prematurely pushed down certain paths. For example, towards industrialisation and commercialisation and away from research for the public good. Governing the future is an area that Inogen is well placed to address. Inogen's work has shown us how complex innovation systems can become. So we take an evolutionary perspective. We look at how the history, context, knowledge and resource base of an individual region or sector can affect the system's development. Innovation and regulation go hand in hand. Innovation works really hard to understand the relationship between the two so that the safety is maintained and technological advances can save and improve the lives. When it comes to the good regulation, it's not a question of more or less, it's a question of appropriate and smart. Appropriate regulation is shaped by the clear social objectives designed to meet local needs. When this happens, you have more opportunity for success. At the turn of the last century, technological innovations in the agrochemical, biotechnology and seed industries were seen to have potential to address productivity, nutrition, storage, and other constraints relating to food security the world over. Interactions and gaps in the policy, regulatory and market environments, however, discouraged or delayed progress. By working across sectors and advocating a multi-layered approach, Inogen helps countries explore options to successfully harness and govern these technologies. What's really exciting about Inogen is the way that it's brought together the life sciences with the social sciences. And it's done that in a way that's not just academic, but it's real in terms of developing policy and delivering practice. This is so important in the global economy, and Inogen is at the leading edge of delivering on that effective growth. Success helps economies grow and improve, and people lead better lives.